you've got Game Face, and this is the Silent Age. Now, if you recall last time, we, we jumped through the, the time portal, and um, it caused a problem. Terminal sunk halfway into the ground. Um, we don't have our time machine anymore. Looks incredibly old. The screen is pretty much, and everything else is pretty much missing. So, not much of our time machine left. No, 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 no. No, no, no! My time machine self-destructed. There's no putting it back together. I have to get the big time machine running. Okay. No, no, no! How am I gonna do that? Power generator. Oh, I came out of there. Never mind, don't go in there. You never know the perspective. I, I thought that might have been down there. Okay, so... Didn't seem to be anything to pick up here. There's a lot of dirt and rubble in the way. Okay, so what? Find a way to clear the dirt and rubble? Cable... Another generator? Hmm. Can't seem to figure out how this works. Oh, it's a solar hmm. powered thing! Okay. I get a shovel. Can I get a shovel? Hey. I can get a shovel. Okay, so that uh, that I can probably. It's probably made to clear the door with. Roots are tough, they don't even bend. Okay, so I'm gonna have to find something to remove the roots. Maybe I need to clean that off. Another time machine, it looks totally different. What? Okay, clean it up, yeah, so, yeah. And there's a remnants of a time machine. An early prototype of the time machine? Okay, maybe. Okay, what do I gotta do? I gotta see if I can use... Oh, use the shovel to clear the dirt. Can I do that? Is that a thing? Yes, it is. Go in the door. No time machine to worry about here. No forgetting to travel to worry about. Other than a piece of cloth, take the cloth. Wipe off the uh, solar array with it. Whoa! He's in a hazmat suit. No, oh, what's in here? I can't go in there. Oh, okay, so this is where the cryo tube. Was. Okay, so there's one of the cryo tubes. It only makes sense. Use cloth to wipe dusty metallic surface. Not making much of a difference. It's still really dirty. Yeah, okay. Oh, maybe I have to wet the cloth. Where's the water? There was water. Is the water in here? Is this where? Yes. Can I wet the cloth? Use cloth with dripping water. Awesome, I've got a wet cloth. That fucking better turn that fucking dust into... Well, better get that dust off of there. Come on, come on, come on. Use wet cloth with metallic... All clean. Wait, something happened. Yes! Yes! Solar powered, my friend. Solar power is what happened. Where am I? How far in the future am I? Okay. <coughs> Oh, I'm sick. Okay. <gasps> oh! It's like a time traveler guy inside the wall. What did I just take? I took a machete. Oh, the machete to fucking clear the... Clear the fucking... Things. 
clear the shrubs. Use the machete on... Oh, it's a doll machete. Oh, shit. Okay. I need something to sharpen it on. Sharpen it on this. Use the... Sh Even if it were alive, I couldn't do that. Even to ease his suffering. I just don't have it in me. The stone. Wow. Oh, well, okay. Sharpen it on the stone. Oh, okay. Sharpen it on the stone. Now I know what to do. There's only so many interactions. There's only one interaction that can occur. And they're all sequential. And that's one thing that makes this game actually doable from my perspective. Because if they weren't sequential, there'd be no fucking way in the world that I could... Whoa! It's Frank! Frank? J Joe! Oh. P please. Need... Water. What are you... Please! I'll get you some water. Hang in there. Okay, there's water. I have a cup. I know where to get water. There we go. Now I got a cup of water. Here we go. Frank, let's put out his fire with water. Use water with fire. Bonfire. That won't help. Use you water with Frank. Frank. What? What do you... What? <sighs> Thank you. I don't understand. The water's making me thirsty. What are you doing here? Where are we? I'm... I'm not sure. I had no time. I pushed it as far as it'd go. <clears throat> but from what I've been reading, everything gets imprecise the farther you travel. Even your physical location can get messed up. Oh, that's now, why that guy's in the wall. Been this far. We could be hundreds... Maybe thousands of years in the future, for all I know. Mm. I don't get it. So, you're a, no, a time pilot now? Do I really need to spell it out for you, Joe? I stole it. Of course you stole what? it. You stole the time machine, but, but why? Look, I've got no reason to tell you, but I guess it doesn't matter. No, you're going to die anyway. The last person I'll be sharing anything with anyway. The truth is... I'm a Soviet agent. Cut it out, Frank. I'm not falling for that one again. I'm not joking. Frank, you're just sick. Confused. Come on. You can't be. Where's your Russian accent? Oh, Joe, how, how... I'm an undercover agent deployed by the Kremlin. My job is to fit in. How far do you think I'd get if I went around calling everyone comrade? Uh... Yeah, Joe. Come on. Don't be a moron, Joe. My real okay. name is Yuri Barishev. I came to America in my early 20s. I went to school here, worked here, spent nearly 10 years building the foundation of an ordinary life. But the truth is that my life is far from ordinary. I, I knew he was a spy. I said he was a spy last time. I was planted by the Soviet Foreign Intelligence Agency to gather intel on advanced U.S. military research programs. And I started getting my first missions in the mid-60s. At the time, I thought I had built a promising portfolio of leads. But as I started to pursue them, most of them turned out to be worthless. Worthless. Worthless leads. By 1968, I had run out of goodwill with my handlers at the Kremlin. I was a disgrace. And headed for extraction. So? You hid. Desperate for something, anything to report. I came across a Canadian company moving large shipments of iridium. Canadians? Osmium. Yeah. Rare metals not typically used in mainstream manufacturing. Maybe. Uh. The buyer turned out to be a government shell, rerouting the materials to unofficial contractors, one of which turned out to be Archon. 
Having convinced my superiors that I was onto something, I got a job as a janitor. But I didn't dig up much until you showed up. You were a great distraction, giving me plenty of chances to access off-limits areas. How the hell did I do that? And for a while, I was able to scrounge together enough intel to keep the Kremlin happy. But once you give them some, they just want more. My hunch was correct, but I didn't have the full picture. Not yet. The metals were being used to build something unusual, all right. But I just couldn't piece it together. What I found made no sense. Time travel, doomsday scenarios. It read like bad science fiction. For a while, I thought they were on to me, feeding me bogus information. But as time went on, with security tightening around the labs and no one confronting me, I began to suspect that my intel was legit. But time was Somebody running out. Belt, a time machine. Brezhnev and your President Nixon set to negotiate the nuclear disarmament treaty in a few weeks. My superiors were demanding results. My job on the line, I got desperate and careless. And this morning, I got caught. Oh, that's no good. Well, I don't know, I guess it depends on whose side you're on. Or... I was tailing an engineer into an off-limits lab when I bumped into Barney from security. Ironically, management chalked up my trespassing to cluelessness and settled for just firing me. Knowing I wouldn't get another chance, I stole okay. security badge and snuck back in. I just found the time machine operator's manual when you showed up out of nowhere and nearly screwed it all up. Then it I clicked. remember that. Not only could I steal the technology, it was the perfect getaway, too. Using the manual, I set the destination as high as it how could go. You steal the I figured technology. if I could just get far away, I'd have plenty of time to figure out how to get it back to the motherland. But, uh, I guess you know the rest. No, you're sitting there now like a dumbass. Okay, well, how does this Listen, John, bode for me? I don't know. I'm really sick, and I'm not making it back. But you still can. The time machine has a timer, like a toaster. It's designed to return home unless the timer's reset. I removed the main power supply fuse to keep it from taking off without me. Oh. Here, take it. I have no idea how you got here. Okay. And I guess it doesn't matter. I have a fuse. So, despite my mission, a double life, and the deceit, your friendship was always genuine. You're an honest guy, Joe. And I've really enjoyed your company. Bye, Frank. No, no please leave me. The pain's coming back. Oh, it hurts to, to talk. Maybe that water I gave him was bad. Rest. Maybe those are like poison or, or bad things happening to him because of the water. Was there anything else here? Just the fire. Just the bonfire. What can I do with a bonfire? I don't think I can do anything with a bonfire. <coughs> what, why am I always coughing? Maybe I'm sick. Like, like I said, maybe I've got some... Maybe the same thing Frank has. So I gotta put a fuse in somewhere. I have a fuse now, and I gotta put it in somewhere. Where's the fuse going? Does the fuse go in you? Use fuse with power generator. It's for the time machine. It'd be pretty stupid to blow it on this. Yeah, I guess you're right. I guess you're right. Use the fuse on the time machine. Use the fuse on the time machine. Okay. Whoa, <coughs> that didn't work out too well. What the fuck, where am I now? Quarantine lockdown initiated. I got keys. I, I just found keys on some guy. <coughs> Doors locked, how do I get out? God, what's happening? Can I get out through here? Oh, grab this thing. And use this thing on here? 
nope. use this thing <coughs> against here. Break the door down. No. Run, run, motherfucker. Run. <laughs> okay, this is familiar. I know where I am now. Whoa. Foreign organism detected. No. No, it can't be. The, the foreign organism. It, oh, it's in me. It's... It's me. Is it me? Uh, I brought back the disease. I'm the one who spreads it. Uh-oh. It, it was me. How can I solve this? All along. I oh. must have <laughs> brought it back with me. There's no way out. Oh, God. Then it'll happen again. Throw up. I, I, I can't deal with this. Well, come on. What do I do? You quarantine yourself. Go in here. <coughs> okay, do I need keys to get in it? <coughs> it controls the tubes, but I don't know how to work it. There's no keyhole. Okay, fuck it. Fuck it. Go in here. Oh, what, what, wasn't there one of these locked? These look like filing cabinet keys. It's locked. Unlock it! Oh. Okay. <sighs> Turning the key makes my muscles hurt. I can feel my arms starting to go stiff. What's in here? <laughs> Lazarus Cryo Console Operator Guide 11th Draft. I might be able to use this. Or maybe I have to go in here? It's locked. This is the, the instructions. Maybe I use the instructions on this. I gotta lock myself down. Input successful. Okay, open the door. Open the door. Get in. Get in. Close the door. Am I still alive, though? Oh. Ugh. Am I still alive? What the fuck? This piece of paper, something squiggly lines on it. IKEA sounds Japanese. At least I'm still on Earth. Can you open the door? Can I pull the string? Oh, the... There we go. Use the paper on the thing. It's not locked. What's in door number two? Okay. Okay. So, what? What? I can't. Okay, so something has to happen before I can get the crutch. I have to get the crutch to shut the TV off. I don't know why. 
So, let's see what's here. It looks like I'm in a modern hospital. And everybody's insane. There's a lamp with 13 on it. This is a desk lamp, but it's on the floor. Clearly, this guy's not all there. Well, no, we, we keep desk lamps on the floor. What do I got? I got a remote. I got a remote. Picture frame. Oops. Damn. I knocked the picture frame off the wall. What's this? Can you read this, buddy? I gave it to his shadow. Need paper to reproduce the key. Need the paper. Gotta have paper. Okay. I gave you the paper. Can you reproduce the key? There's fucking paper all over the place, motherfucker. Okay, go in here. <clears throat> and you know me. Immediately, I'm the guy who knows how to use the remote. On the TV. Now I have the crutch. Why I got the crutch, I don't know. Where's this guy going? It's a terminal of some kind, but nothing like one I've, I've ever seen. Can you use a crutch on it? Okay, did this guy finish making the key? Mightier than the sword. The pen, the pen, the pen. Archon. What happened to Albers? Lambert found dead. Janitor arrested. No. I already gave him paper. Got to be something. Oh, I got a pen. I got a pen. Oh, the guy wanted a pen. Oh, 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 oh. Why didn't I fucking think of that? Do you want it? I didn't think he had a pen with all the writing that's on the wall. Here's a pen. My dear, then the sword. The pen, the pen, the pen. There's a pen. I gave you a pen. The key. The key. Keep it close. Five, seven, three, one. Keep it safe. Okay. Bring help. Don't get caught. Save the kingdom. Get the girl. Save the kingdom. Get, get the, the girl. girl. Save the kingdom. Get the girl. I'm going. I'm trying. You keep on babbling. So now I'm going to go punch that in the keypad. Okay, what's in here? What's in here? It's the girl. Um, uh, miss. Nurse? I... Oh, hi there. Goodness. <laughs> you startled me. You could have just knocked. And it's doctor, actually? Dr. Emma Brown? I'm a little embarrassed to say, but we don't have any files on you, so I don't even know your name. I... It's, it's Joe. Joe, ma'am. I'm Joe. Oh, call me Emma. We're not so formal here. It's nice to meet you, Joe. I'm sorry, Dr. Brown. I don't know how to say this, but you, everyone here, is in serious danger. I'm very sick, and it's very important you call the authorities and- Whoa, whoa, whoa. Take it easy. Deep breaths. There's nothing to be afraid of. Why not? How do you feel? I... 
okay, I guess. A little sore? A little sore. See, you're fine. <clears throat> and the soreness is to be expected. You've undergone muscle therapy. Whoa, You've been asleep I'm... for at least three decades after I've all. been under sleep. Maybe even I'm... more. Oh, I've been sleeping what? for three decades. But wh where am I? What year is this? Easy, Joe. I know it's a lot to take in. It'd be a shock to anyone's sister. None of this happened. I haven't been under for as long as you have. None of it happened. It's 2012, I was in a coma the whole time. And this is the psychiatric ward my, at St. Genevieve's head. Hospital. You were brought out of hibernation five weeks ago. Oh, I was in hibernation. Like the others, you were placed in an artificial coma for regenerative muscle therapy and brought here for evaluation and rehab after everything checked out. Okay, those two other guys oh, were the God. other ones in the, in the uh, cryo chainers. Tubes. You have to listen to me, Doctor. I, I'm dangerously sick. I was carrying something when, when, when I got in. I... Oh, that? Well, that's true. You did all have some kind of flu. Actually, the resident physician did find it peculiar how you had all contracted a type of avian flu that only first appeared in the late 90s, and a new strain at that. Whoa. In any case, Back the when I was around, it would have killed everybody. Due to the extended hibernation, we run very thorough medical checks on all back. our cryo clients. So Whoa. we gave you all a shot of our regular cocktail. Cleared it right up before you even came to. So it's... gone? But Archon... Yes, I'm afraid I don't know much about all of that. All I know is that the company that froze you went bankrupt back in the early 70s. A victim of industrial sabotage, I think. Really? Anywho, the remaining assets were sold off, and the cryoform company bought the cryogenics technology. As per ethical requirements, that included all of you who were frozen there. Ethical requirements? We've been helping rehabilitate Cryoform's clients for the past five years or so. Mostly folks suffering from previously incurable terminal illnesses and heavy wallets. But you didn't hear that from me, hmm? How do you know I'm not one of those heavy wallet persons? Unfortunately, cryogenics person. was a little... experimental when you went under. So, while the company's been freezing and reviving clients for quite some time, you had to stay confined to the original equipment. Apparently, a lot of Archon's original documentation was destroyed in a fire. So Cryoform had practically no information on any of you. That's another reason it took so long to figure out how to revive you. Sadly, the others haven't been quite as coherent. They share certain delusions, you know, end of the world, that sort of thing. An unfortunate side effect of Cryogenic's primitive state at the time, I or suspect. It was the end of the world. You, however, seem just fine. Apart from the shock, I mean. So... So I'm not sick? You and sure? And the world did not die. <laughs> yes, Joe, quite sure. The world In fact, is still around. I see no reason to keep you here. We have an excellent rehabilitation team who'll get you settled into your new life in no time. Just come see me when you're ready to go. What do I what do I have to do? Hmm. So, are we all ready to go? Let's go. I guess. Oh, don't worry. The rehab team's eager to help get you settled in. I know it may feel a little overwhelming now, but trust me, you'll love it in 2012. Endless opportunities. A whole new lease on life. Speaking of, I happened to catch you on the surveillance monitors a little while ago, and you seem to show excellent problem-solving skills. You like puzzles, Joe? I... Perfect. If I have I'll be to. sure to mention it to the career coaches. They'll find just the right thing for you. And off I go! Off I go! Just average Joe now. Average Joe. Living the working life. On the subway. Got myself a... A, uh... An MP3 player, it looks like. I'm just average Joe. My average desk job. Looks like I work in a call center. Thank you. 
but it's better than the other possible future. So that was the Silent Age. Pretty twisted tale of time travel. I always found time travel to be a neat premise. Um, probably not possible, but but just the the science fifth fiction um, ramifications of just thinking it out is are, uh, can be so twisted, so twisted. And, and this is called the Mobius Strip. Um, if you know what a Mobius Strip is, strip is in paper, strip of paper. Um, it's an infinitely, it's, it's only got one side. It, it would be the best way to put it. It's only got one side. It's really cool. I really enjoyed this. Awesome puzzles. Wasn't too difficult for me. And that's the best part. So until next time, I'm Game Phase. This was The Silent Age. If you liked it, click the button and don't forget to subscribe. I'd like to thank you so much for watching. And I will see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.